What's good, sports fans? This is your boy, Tony Show, the second here. And y'all are locked in on your dose of chalk it up. Where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to turn this to the game. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the content. And if you guys have been loyal to the channel, loyal to the soil from the very beginning, you already know what my heart is. You know how we get down here, chalk it up. And also, please go make sure you guys check out the Chalk It Up merch shop as well. The links are available down below in the description if you want to support me and the channel. But without further ado, let's hop right into the content. I want to take some time to talk about Quez Watkins, the sixth round pick from the 2020 draft. And the Philadelphia Eagles didn't really get the most out of him. That wasn't his fault, though. If there was a pecking order, he was behind guys like Alshon Jeffrey. He was behind guys like Deshaun Jackson. He was behind guys like J.J. Ortega Whiteside. He was behind Jalen Rager, things of that nature. He was behind Greg Ward. But when he got his opportunities, he took advantage. This guy's been working extremely hard this offseason to get better. He is working to become an even a much more polished route runner than he already is. And I feel like he doesn't get enough respect for being an offensive threat. Now, again, he didn't have that many opportunities. He didn't play in too many games. The ball didn't come his way too often. He didn't get that many snaps. But when he was on the field, when he got the opportunity, my man averaged at the very least 15 yards per reception. Now, that can't go understated. Granted, a small sample size, but when he gets the ball, he gets yak. Let's, not, let's think about his Arizona Cardinals performance. Granted, he only had a few balls come his way, but when he got the opportunity, my man took it to the house for about a 30-yard touchdown, a screen, a screen pass that he just totally shook the Cardinals defense and took it all the way. They couldn't catch him. That just gives you a flash of just how dynamic this guy can be in short yardage situations. You always have to watch his speed. You have to watch his um your, his uh his yards after the catch ability, his jack ability. You have to watch the fact that you can't give him the slightest bit of space. I was watching this uh I was watching this post, this 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 little bit of film of him running this route and he killed the defender with this shake and bake move, this, this step to the outside, and then came right back to the boundary. Like, it was ridiculous. The dude is really going to be nice. And if Jalen Rager doesn't pan out, Quez Watkins is coming for that spot, best believe. We got some young we got some young OGs in this offense. We got some young guys that are ready to grind. We got some young guys that are trying to make a name for themselves. These guys understand that the wide receiver room is very, very crowded. These guys understand that opportunities don't come like this. We got Devontae Smith out there, Jalen Rager out there, Travis Fogum out there, Greg Ward out there, the young veteran. Uh, like I said, Quez Watkins, John Hightower. It's very crowded. J.J. Ortega Whiteside, Jamal Nosbon. It's very crowded. It's not going to be easy for anybody to really stick a claim for themselves. But if Quez Watkins continues, if, if he continues to put in this work, if he continues to show that he's capable in doing the things that he did in this video that we all just saw that came out, I want to say July 8th or something like that, Man, Quest Watkins, the sky is the limit. Again, you can't create that kind of speed. You can't fake that kind of speed. His ability after the catch is going to really make this offense so much more dynamic. And I feel like, and I feel like that's the trajectory we're going in when it comes to um, this offense with Nick Sirianni. It's all about letting the offensive of guys do what they do best, and that's create skill plays, create plays after the catch. This is going to be really exciting. And I'm super, super ecstatic just thinking about everything that's coming to fruition. And this offense really has a lot to prove. A lot of people are doubting this offense. A lot of people are doubting the players on this offense. But it's okay, though. We thrive in this territory. And it's straight like that. I'm your humble host, Tony Schultz II. And you guys have been locked in on your door to chalk it up. Where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love. Stay humble. Stay healthy. And most importantly, stay hungry. Fly goes fly.